So this just shows that David and Dan are a bunch of quitters. What's up everybody, today I'm here to talk about some big news that dropped yesterday and that is that David and Dan, you know, the big producers of Game of Thrones, quit Star Wars. Now, this is huge news. Why? Because, I mean, if you were a fan, if you, were, if you watch Game of Thrones, you probably know that season 8 was kind of a disaster. There was a huge backlash. People are still mad about it. If, if I think too much about it, I'm still going to be mad. And if you go back and look a few of my videos, you would see that, yes, I was part of the crew. I did not like season 8. It made me really mad. I thought that they were, they did a terrible job. They were not able to give us satisfaction endings to these characters because the story was rushed. Now we all know that they were rushing because they were dying to go play with lightsabers. Uh, so the story is that David and Dan really were so done with Star Wars, with uh, Game of Thrones, because they really wanted to go uh, because of their deal with Star Wars. And at the same time that they Game of Thrones was premiered. We also had news, uh, I think Bob Iger posted on, on Twitter somewhere that, oh, we're so excited to have David and Dan on board. So this was publicly announced, you know, and it's kind of like, it looks weird. And at the same time, it doesn't look very good for Star Wars that these people would quit. But as a Star Wars fan, I am happy with this news because I don't think that they were able, these two could not come up with uh, innovative or creative ideas to do a trilogy. I was actually very sad that they were going to you know go make a Star Wars film. Now if they were working very closely with George Lucas kind of adapting some sort source material then I think they'll be very good for the job because as we all know the first four seasons of Game of Thrones were probably the best and that's were the seasons where they had the books you know they had George's book books uh, and yes they were very talented to adapt uh, a material that exists but creating a Star Wars completely you know without any source material no I definitely had absolutely zero confidence that they would be able to do something however now that they quit Star Wars, this actually kind of shows their work ethic. It really shows the same way that they quit uh, Game of Thrones just to go work on Star Wars and made you know so many people so mad, basically. Now they kind of do the same thing with Star Wars because of their deal with Netflix. Now I really like Netflix because it is a platform that is always not afraid to give new creators chances uh, and that is something that the studios do not do studios are very kind of you know closed uh, you know it's always the same directors you need to know someone but the good thing about these new uh, streaming medias is because they're more willing to accept new creators uh, but in the case of getting David and Dan it's probably because of you know their rival with Disney and Netflix has a ton of money but uh, David and Dan just abandoning Star Wars like that after it was like publicly announced. And not only that, you know, I don't know if you're following, but like not long ago, they were at a panel somewhere and they announced, they talked about Game of Thrones. They talked that they said that they were learning the job. They said pretty much they said they had no idea what they were doing. They really fully under, didn't fully understand the books. Uh, and it's very lucky that HBO would have given them this opportunity. Uh, well, we all see how that turned out. Uh, and uh, to be quite honest with you, like I said, they were very talented at adapting a source material, but they were not very good at creating original story once the source material was no longer there. Uh, they destroyed the Nairs, they destroyed uh, poor Jon Snow, you know, and then like, it's just, it was just. Like I said in many of my videos, the execution was terrible. But let's see what Deadline is saying over here. Benioff and Weiss were supposed to usher in the post Skywalk era of the Star Wars brand with 2022 new start story. So, you know, that is another thing. This is already announced to 2022. So that means they should be working in production now. But now they are too busy because they're working with Netflix. Man, I feel, I hope Netflix, you know, I feel bad for Netflix because like I said, I don't, these are the same guys that created that, the worst X-Men movie ever, you know, that Wolverine film with that terrible Deadpool. Uh, but at the same time, 
I don't think that they are able to create original stories. Like I said, if they are adapting a book somewhere, perhaps, perhaps, who knows, maybe that's what they're going to do for Netflix, right? Um, that would stake out a new frontier for era defining cinema brand created by George Lucas. The Emmy winning pair cited their historical deal with Netflix. They said their enthusiasm for Star Wars remains boundless, but regrettably, their schedule is full. Now, how, how, wow, the kind of work ethic here is just, it blows my mind. You know, after this was announced publicly, they're doing the next Star Wars trilogy, they just, okay, we're actually just too busy, we're not gonna do it. Just, it the whole story is just very weird. Uh, they, they publicly said, that they're too busy and guess what Kathleen Kennedy is just showing how bad of a, of a leader she is because you know she also put a announcement like a, a statement saying that well um, the we are very sad that they are so busy but the doors are open for them I mean are you serious I would have been way harsher if they had done that to me you know I mean it's, it's hard to know what's going on behind the scenes but I don't think that this looks good for Star Wars Star Wars is already in a lot of trouble as it is so it's good that these two are no longer going to, to destroy Star Wars more I don't even know if that's possible but just the fact that they're not involved I'm happy with it because like I said I have no after what they did with season 8 of Game of Thrones I have zero confidence in these two uh, but let's see what else it's saying here well I'm not gonna read the whole thing but basically basically those are the news and I just wanted to say well for me these two are clowns they actually it really shows the kind of work ethic that they have you know I, I know that uh, wow if they are getting paid 215 million dollars that is a lot of money that's right uh, but at the same time they also have a commitment they had a commitment with Disney which is very weird they're just gonna quit like this uh, but yes this is their, this that's it that's that's what they do you know that's it they did that to Game of Thrones after you know 10 years of people being invested in the series they couldn't even like have gone given this to somebody else to finish they just rushed it all out so they could go work in Star Wars and now they're not even doing Star Wars anymore uh, these two are just clowns uh, and uh, well that's what we have so far and that was also the story that the prequels that Game of Thrones you know that HBO was working on it it's also being cancelled what they're going to be doing now it's actually doing a story about the dragons involving George R. R. Martin which is annoying because that means he instead of him <laughs> finishing the book so we know how Game of Thrones ends he's going to be preoccupied with this TV series because of course they HBO know that people want to see dragons uh, but to me to me these two killed Game of Thrones in a way that right now I don't even want to hear anything Game of Thrones related I don't want to watch it so I'm happy that they are not doing Star Wars and uh, uh, best of luck to Netflix. Let's see what are they what are they going to be doing next. But anyways, guys, drop your comment below. Let me know what do you think about this kind of crazy news. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoy my video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.